What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back to another farming simulator video, and in today's video we are back on the old family farm map, back with some old style equipment, old style farming, or I guess regular style farming, but old equipment. Um, today guys, we are going to be finishing up our first harvest, um, at least getting it going. Um, last video we cut wheat, or we not cut wheat, we cut grass and we collected a lot of it. And I have it all, uh... Bit, not bailed up I have it all swapped up and um, done and ready to go so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do some, a little bit of fertilizing and then we're gonna let this fast forward and then we are going to start some harvesting um, it is currently spring right now because we are on seasons so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait I think we are at growing temperature right now um, for we yep, we are at growing temperature. It's 41 degrees. So, so we're good for that and we only have one plot right now Which is cool. Um, hopefully after this first uh, harvest we'll be able to uh, Buy another plot we have hundred thirty three thousand dollars. We gotta do a little bit more uh, field work for some other farmers out there just to Help us along is what you'd want to say All right, so I'll drop this guy off and then we're gonna grab our old I don't know if this one, I think it's an, Am, it's an Amazon or Amazon, however you guys want to pronounce it. Uh, fertilizer spreader. We're not going to do any manure yet. Though we do have cows. Almost there. There we go. Yep, Amazon ZA. I'm not sure how old this one is, but it's pretty old for most of it. Alright, I think this is our refill one right here. Is it? Nope, that's a liquid. There we go. Oh, hey, that this literally costs us almost nothing. Did not cost us a single dollar. All right, now we're gonna put our ways on, put ourselves on down to uh, field six here. I'm not sure what the spread of this is, but I'm assuming it'll be large. So I'm zooming out here. All right, I'm gonna lower it. All right, so it's a pretty good spread here. Um, I'm probably just gonna fast forward it as we go through here. Hopefully we don't have to restock any of this. I would assume we probably don't. Um, I'm only gonna do one fertilization state right now. And then in the next few harvests we do, or plants we do, uh, we will do probably all three fertilization states just to get that maximum yield out of it. But right now, it's not too big of a deal for me. Mainly because I just want to get this wheat uh, harvested and because I need some straw. There we go. So that whole field is now done. Not too bad. Pretty quick. Uh, barely cost us like absolutely anything really. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fast forward. Oh, I'm starting to adjust that. I'm gonna fast forward through the season. I'm gonna get it to the point where we can harvest, and then I'm gonna show you guys the harvester, and we're gonna start harvesting a bit. I'm not sure if we're gonna finish the entire thing in this video, but I will finish the entire thing before next video. And then I think the next video we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna do a live stream. Um, I think Friday night is when we're gonna do it. Live stream Friday night, we're gonna be uh, gold nugget harvesting or gold nugget like finding pretty much. Um, so we're gonna do all that and it's gonna be pretty good because I think it's gonna give us a million dollars so we can buy a few more plots, some more equipment and stuff like that. 
Anyways, guys, here, I'm going to fast forward, bring the equipment over while we're fast forwarding. And we're going to get to the next stage of harvesting. All right, everybody, it is now the first day of autumn. We basically just kind of skipped through summer. Uh, I mean, like, the summer is, like, uh, grass cutting, uh, fertilizing, all that stuff, which we didn't necessarily need to do right now. So we skipped over it. Uh-oh, Oliver's still running. We need to shut him off. So now what we're going to do is we are going to... Oh, we still got one of these mowers going? Oh, him right here. Okay. Probably not going to use the John Deere for this. Um, trying to think of which one can probably pull this harvester here. That one's pretty powerful. Uh, you know what? We're going to pull it using our power wagon from now. Maybe. I'm not sure how well this will work, but we'll, f we'll find out. We'll at least move it over there using the power wagon because the power wagon's got the most uh, horsepower for something to be moved. Oh, there we go. I guess we could use the power wagon if we really wanted to, guys. Probably not going to, but we could. All right, but this is a bigger piece of machinery, so we do want to use this to pull this over. All right, so start here, drop them down. And then we're going to go back over here and we're going to select one of our tractors. I think we might select one of the bigger end tractors, one of the ones that's from like the uh, 80s. Um, instead of the really old ones. Let's see what we got over here. Yeah, here. We'll use the International with the bucket on it right here. We'll use this guy. The 986 Duels. Alright, it's probably a little bit overkill for um, our purposes, but it's alright. Oh no, we need to bring a bucket over too. Or not a bucket, uh, a wagon over also. Alright, so... The way that we're going to do this is... I don't know if the John Deere harvester here holds anything. Alright, we will... Unfold it. Okay, so it cuts at an angle, alright. Do you want to thresh the crops? Okay, so the crops are too wet. So we're going to have to wait a little bit here. I think I might fast forward it till it's... Alright, here. I'm going to fast forward it till it is good to go. There, there you go. Crops are good. Alright, we're going to start threshing. And I don't know exactly how much this thing can hold. So we're going to find out. Oh, there we go. You know what? Maybe we can use the John Deere for this. Let's go snag the John Deere really quick. Because that would be amazing. If we could use the John Deere with the John Deere harvester. But I'm just not sure if it's a too underpowered. Alright, here. We'll park our case here. We'll hop in our Model A and get her down there. I feel like it might work, but I'm not sure. We should really buy field two also. Field two would be a really good purchase for us. At least we know this machine works. Ooh, squeaky, squeaky brakes. All right. Oh, she works. There we go. This is what we were wanting now. Make sure we're still putting out a straw swath. Because that's what we want. We want that straw swath the most. And then we're going to bail that up in the next episode. And we're going to bail it up into these small bales. And we're going to throw it on these, uh, these loading wagons that I have. Ooh. Alright, we're going to have to set like a like a course. Something, something easier way to get along all this. Alright. So guys, I'm going to go through and do quite a few rows here, and then we'll probably end the video, and then we'll pick it up next time with a fully harvested field, and we're going to start bailing right away. Mainly because our cows need some loving, because some of our cows aren't too happy with the fact that they don't have any straw to lay on at night, which I feel really bad for. 
But I'm just going to fast forward through here, show you guys some more stuff. But until then, I hope you guys enjoy the video.